All right, NT8 on the porch. I want to get into a little discussion about how we got to where we are today with Islamic terrorism, Muslims, and how this entire bullshit came, came about. Well, right after World War I, after we went in, the U.S. had to go in and bail Britain and France out of a fucking war with Germany. We did that. Then Woodrow Wilson tried to create the League of Nations. You know, the front one runner to the UN who still doesn't do shit. Okay, so we didn't join the League of Nations. So in 1918, after the war, between 1918 and 1922, Britain and France decided to carve up the Middle East. Did they go by, well, who's Sunni and who's Shiite, and let's draw the borders that way, where are the Kurds, let's draw it that way. No, fuck no, they just drew fucking lines. That's how you ended up with Syria, Iraq, uh, Saudi Arabia. Fuck, I can't even name them all off. Jordan, Lebanon. That's how all this shit came about. But they didn't draw it up according with the Sunni, Shiite, Christian, Kurdish, tribal fucking deal, okay? So, you know, they fight. Britain and France pull the fuck out. France has their little colonial empire, so to speak. Britain has their little colonial empire, so to speak, again. You know, it's all about colonial. And then years down the road, they finally say, fuck it, we're out of here. So these countries, you know, with the borders that Britain and France drew up, they fight, and they fight, and they fight, and they rest, and they fight, and they rest, and they fight, and they rest. And, they and, they rest. and then somehow, makes the United States get involved. And that would be post-World War II. But it was all about divvying up the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, my dogs are gonna bark. Here come kids on bikes. faster than them fucking bikers. So Britain and France got us in this fucking mess. Okay? Okay. So now what's going on in Europe? Well, these motherfuckers are coming over and killing a bunch of people. And, you know, the United States got involved in Iraq got involved in Kuwait, got involved in all this bullshit. But the Muslims can't remember back to 1918, 1922. They don't have books that go back far enough to know who they should be going after. We didn't cause this shit. So now they want to come after us. 
or because of oil, the United States had to get involved. George Bush, Senior, George Bush, Junior, Bill Clinton, you know, he got us involved in the Serbia fucking ex-Yugoslavia bullshit. Wonder who threw that up? I didn't look that up. The Yugoslavia was basically, from what I can remember without looking it up, it was Christians against Muslims. Or some shit like that. So we've had failed leadership since 1922. So now we got Trump in there. And I tell you what. I think Trump ought to say, you know what? Britain, France, NATO, fuck you all. Britain and France, you fix the Middle East. You caused it. NATO, we'll stick with you, but only if you're paying up your 2% of GDP. Ah, I get so fucking sick of this. The League of Nations didn't work. The UN still does not work. And then we got NATO, and the United States pays 70% of the freight on NATO. Fuck them. Let's just pull the fuck out. Take that 70% of our money. Kick them out of fucking New York City. Tell them to move to Brussels. Or fucking Switzerland. Or fucking wherever. I don't give a fuck. Get out of that shit. Take that money and put it into our military. We've done it before. Make the biggest, baddest military. And we really don't need anybody's help. It just looks to me like we keep reinventing the wheel But the wheel stays shaped like a football. You know what I mean? Womph, 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 womph. So thanks, Britain. Thanks, France. Jesus Christ. I'm out of here. NT8 on the porch. Have a nice day.